pretzels with chocolate and cheeseburger pizza Ginger nuts, cream cakes and crumpets with cheese on Birthday cake, ice cream, some crisp chicken wings These are a few of my favourite things What? Sounded like a fun video idea What's up, Vietnami? Welcome back. Or if this is your first time watching the channel and you love watching hairy dudes eat on this occasion lots of very, very delicious foods, then you're in the right place. So think about subscribing. I promise not to start every video with a song. That doesn't happen every week. Anyway, if you watch the channel on a regular basis, you'll know I recently went to Los Angeles for a contest. On returning from that trip, I mentioned that the next contest I was doing is the uh, World Poutine Eating Championships in Canada on October 19th. So I'm gonna have to start practicing for that pretty soon. Otherwise, I'll do just as bad as I did at the Gyoza contest in LA. But I figured there's probably enough time to squeeze in one more very fun video. So I'm calling this one the A Few of My Favorite Things Challenge. Not because I'm a huge fan of Julie Andrews, you understand. No, it's because these are a few of my favorite things. And I thought if you enjoyed this video, I might do a couple more episodes, maybe every month or something like that. Because, of course, these aren't all of my favorite things. I have lots of favorite things, but these are a few of them. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna put up a calorie count on screen. And, um, yeah, let's get started. A lot of people ask me what kind of foods I like, and uh, I think you'd be quite intrigued to see the things I like to eat. You know, when I'm eating junk food and, you know, just being a general fat All right, and check this out. No expense spared. No expense spared. Finally got a new timer. Anyway, let's dig in to, um, I'll start with the chicken wings. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video. And uh, today we're having a laugh. We're having some fun, as you can probably tell by the, the intro there. So we're not taking this video too seriously. It's a mukbang style video. I thought I would combine a lot of the foods I really like to eat, but don't often get the opportunity to eat because I'm eating other delicious foods. I know, Crimea River, right? <laughs> Look at that. Classic umbrella technique. Anyway, I realized that uh, chicken wings are, you know, particularly special. But I thought I'd start with probably the most usual of all the things that I eat. Because I do have some rather odd habits when it comes to things I really, really like to eat. And I'm going to demonstrate that now uh, by showing you a little secret beard recipe. So. We got some Biscoff spread here. I'm not gonna eat the entire jar, but one thing I like to do, this might grow some people out, but I got some crumpets here. They've gone kinda of cold now. That's not supposed to happen. It was melted cheese on an English crumpet with some uh, Biscoff spread on top. Yeah, in Britain it's a bit of a tradition to eat crumpets with butter, maybe a bit of jam. But I'm telling you, you got to think bigger than that. Nothing better than a pimped crumpet. It might sound weird, but just trust me on it. Next, I'm going to go for my new favorite pizza. I used to really love, I mean, I still love pepperoni and pineapple, but um, cheeseburger, the cheeseburger pizza from Domino's is fast becoming my new favorite. Yeah, I do really enjoy pepperoni and pineapple pizza. It's kind of like the next level up from Hawaiian, you know, ham and pineapple really kind of exemplifies that sweet and salty contrast. But this cheeseburger pizza from Domino's is really a unique flavor. I'm sad they forgot the gherkins on this occasion though. Still, the sauce really makes it. All right, the cheeseburger pizza's done. Time for some more Biscoff spread on one of these crumpets. <laughs> I'm actually really intrigued to see what people say in the comments because this is not by any means the weirdest food combo I really like to eat. I've got plenty more in my locker, believe me. I'm sure nobody out there is thinking about trying that, but if you are thinking about trying it, I would recommend you get a very sharp, quite strong cheese, and don't overdo it with the, uh, the Biscoff spread. But if you do try it, let me know what you think. Next, we're gonna do something very similar. This is something I used to eat when I, I first used to date Lindsay, when we first started dating. And uh, I'd go around to her house and she would make me hot nachos with melted cheese on my cheat day and I would throw Nutella on top. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's been a while since I had this. 
Maybe I'll have a few with just the cheese first. Oh. Love how they all stick together. <laughs> I think this video is just going to make people <laughs> unsubscribe. It could be as bad as the Boris Johnson video. It's, I mean, it looks disgusting, but it's not. If you're into sweet and salty, you will really enjoy this. Look, it's like a beautiful abstract piece of art like Tracy Emin did it or something. But it's delicious as well. Messy, but delicious. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head, it's gonna be a real toss up between this and the Boris Johnson diet video in terms of which causes the most outrage. People get angry enough when I eat pineapple on pizza, but chocolate on nachos, that is a different ball game. I can feel people judging me as I eat this stuff, but don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Again, just like the crumpets with Biscoff, take some practice. You gotta get the sweet and savory right, so don't go nuts with the Nutella. If you'll pardon the pun. <laughs> get a nice strong cheese, you'll love it. Should probably crack the Ben and Jerry's because I get the feeling this is almost entirely melted. Mm. Still reasonably solid. I would say around 50% solid. Sometimes it takes quite a long time to do the B roll for these videos, so uh, yeah, it melted a little bit. As you can see, some of it at least was drinkable. But this is my new favorite flavor, the birthday cake flavor. I don't actually know how long it's been out, you know, available to purchase. It feels like only like around a year or something. Personally, I'm pretty fussy when it comes to uh, Ben and Jerry's flavors. And when this birthday cake flavor came out, I was kind of skeptical because my two favorite flavors are cookie dough and the Speculoos one, which is kind of cinnamony. It's a bit weird than an ice cream, but um, I like it. But since I tried this birthday cake flavor, this is easily my favorite. I think it has genuine birthday cake in it. It's not just flavoured like birthday cake, it's got big chunks of sponge in there. Mmm, that was yummy, it was like half milkshake, half ice cream. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, another one. This is just cereal, right? Nobody gets excited about cereal, apart from that other guy. But, I love granola, I've mentioned that many times before. But to make cereal even more indulgent, double cream on top. Forget milk, it's all about double cream. That's probably like 2,000 calories right there. <laughs> Should've got more double cream. Oh no. Should've got more cream. Right, I'll leave that to moisten for a while. Eat some cream cakes. Eclairs, one of my favorite types of uh, pastry dessert. Actually, once I ate 50 of these, I mean, it was reasonably easy. I might go for a hundred one time. Again, feel free to leave your thoughts on that below. It would be much more fun than the 50 banana challenge. This is not the finest declare I've ever eaten. Yeah, it was a bit dry. And this, this is what my mum would call an English donut. Sounds slightly more appealing than a creamy finger, I guess. For me, Morrison's does the nicest versions of, of this particular cream and jam donut. Yeah, when it comes to supermarket bakeries, if you just discount Lidl, because that's easily the best, I think after that, Morrison's has the nicest fresh bakery, so I really like the uh, the pastries and cream cakes from there. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, just cracked the Mountain Dew, which is actually one of my favourite parts about going to America, you can get Diet Mountain Dew. You can't really get that in England, you can get the regular kind, but I'm certainly not on a diet today, so <coughs> it's okay. Next, probably my favorite handheld snack. Miniature snack. Flips. Easily the best miniature snack, especially the white fudge version. This one was a tough choice though, I, I will say that. I really enjoy the salted caramel version as well. Maybe I'll save that for another one of these videos. They really should do bigger bags of flips. <clears throat> I think you only get like 20 in a bag. All right, next, another one of my favorites. I probably eat two of these almost every day. Like I can't eat a lot of these because on days when I'm not filming a video like this, I've mentioned this before, I barely eat anything. Like a tuna salad 
and some Greek yogurt, maybe, with some blueberries. But because I like to have something sweet, I'll normally have one or two of these. These are only like 35 calories. My grandma sends me these all the time. Every time it's my birthday or Christmas, I get like 10 packets of ginger nuts. <laughs> yeah, you know how your granny always makes you eat food even if you're not hungry when you go visit? Well, my grandma's like that, but worse. She likes to try and prepare me for an impending nuclear winter Ugh. with the amount of food she sends me. 35 minutes. I'm just buy the worst timers. Wait, why is there no stand? Oh, wait, there is a stand. <laughs> the peanut butter Kit Kat Chunky. I don't really eat much chocolate. I almost never eat chocolate, but if I did eat chocolate, it would be one of four chocolate bars. One of which is the peanut butter Kit Kat Chunky. There's something about the, I mean the chocolate is good, but there's something about the dry wafer against the uh, peanut butter filling, which is really satisfying. It's that kind of crunchiness you miss in a, a Reese's cup or something like that. I know they do the bars, like the Nutrageous bar and stuff, but this kind of gets it right, I think. All right, next, it's been a while. Egg custard, I don't know if, again, this is kind of like a unique English thing. I'm sure it's not, they probably have them all over the world. I know they have like a, a variation of this in Portugal, the, the pastel thing. These have like a, a nice kind of nutmeg feel to them, but they're essentially, well, they're made with eggs. Whoa. This is a good one. Well, I say that the pastry is a little bit underdone, but the middle is perfect. It's kind of like eggnog inside pastry. That's probably the best way to describe it to anyone outside England, anyway. It's weird because I used to hate those when I was a kid, and then when it hit like, I don't know, puberty, I just really started to enjoy egg custards. Next, I've got a small pot of uh, ambrosia rice pudding. Gotta be ambrosia, nothing but the best. I got a small pot because eating lots of this when you have a beard like this is, um, it's tricky, so. Just having a little taste of rice pudding today. I could eat it all day long. If there was a rice pudding eating contest on the Major League Eating Circuit, sign me up. I think I would do really well at that. I like it cold too, in fact, I prefer it cold. A lot of people heat rice pudding up, which is fine, it's good when it's warm, but I think it's more substantial when it's cold, so it kind of feels like you're eating more. I should have got a full tin of that, it actually wasn't too messy, so I'll remember that for next time. Right, now before I make a start on the, <coughs> the last thing there, the cereal, I'm going to show you something I would normally never eat. So this is a protein bar, right? By this grenade company. And I really hate the marketing. <laughs> it's this carb killer. Like, why would you want to kill carbs? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I never eat protein bars, never drink protein shakes, ever. It's kind of a waste to me. I would rather eat something more substantial, like a chicken breast or some fish or something like that. But because I've done quite a lot of traveling this year and in-flight meals are so small. I normally take a couple of these on the uh, on the plane with me and they're mostly terrible. Almost every other bar in this range is terrible, but the salted peanut, oh, it's so nice. And it's, it, I think it's like 50 more calories than the other ones in the range. And you can kind of tell why, because it just tastes like a regular chocolate bar. Just the chocolate bar they give a ridiculous homicidal name to. It's covered in white chocolate. It's not peanut butter, it's kind of like a peanut fondant, which I guess is what they inject all the whey or whatever protein powder they use into it. But it works, it tastes really nice. So if you must eat protein bars, it's one of the better ones. One thing I will say though, before you go out and buy one of those, they give you tremendous gas. Like the worst gas ever, especially if you pair them up with fizzy drinks. All right, 44 minutes. And this is without doubt the highest calorie thing 
on this entire table. This has more calories than the pizza. It's kind of like a deconstructed cheesecake, that's what it tastes like. Yeah, ideally, I would have more cream in here, right? It'd be swimming in cream. But I, I don't know, I, I got a small tub of cream. I don't know why. I think I've eaten this before on a cheat day video once. I won't lie though. I mean, it might be delicious, but it's thick as mint and you can physically feel your blood pressure increasing <laughs> the more you eat. That could be a slight exaggeration. Wouldn't be the first time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did. Let me know in the comments if you did or did not, and I'll catch you for the next one. All right. This is Bimix Food and Nut. With just a few of my, no, those were just a few of my favorite things. That makes more grammatical sense. Mmm. These are a few of my favorite things.